Oh. Hi, welcome to the vlog. We are packing. It is the 1st of June, which is my birthday month. I used to really go for the whole birthday month thing when I was young. But alas, I'm going to be 28 and I can't know, I can no longer get away with having a whole birthday month. I'm packing, I've done all right, it's really hot. Uh, we have had the nicest bank holiday weekend. Uh, I really hope you guys did too. I'm not going to lie, I didn't even know it was bank holiday until I got told. So yes, it was kind of like a surprise day off. And we really made the most of it. We we're out in the garden, we went for a wee like accidental cycle. We were just playing in the street on our bikes and ended up going down to the Clyde. And yeah, I'm trying to pack, but I don't know what clothes to pack because it's so hot. Down in London it's even hotter as well. I'm taking my little case. This is my away suitcase. Um, it's actually a carry-on, but I'm going to check it in because I've got some stuff in here that's like liquids. And yeah, I'm just trying to pack clothes. I think I'm just going to go for like small tops, but still jeans. I've got one maxi dress, but I just don't really want to cut about in shorts or skirts or whatever. I've got meetings pretty much back to back tomorrow and the next day. So I'm taking you with me, but who knows what this week's vlog gonna be like. I also, very exciting. My much coveted and awaited Chanel sandals will be getting an outing. I've had these for a year, I have wore them twice because the weather's been shit and also there's just been no reason. But I'm taking them down with me. I'm a big believer in if you treat yourself to anything, whether it be clothes or skincare or makeup or perfume or whatever it is, use it. The reason that you've bought it is to make you feel happy or to enjoy it, so you should use it. I used to hoard stuff, I used to like keep things nice and put them in back in their bag. No, use it use it. I've got jeans, I've got, oh no I'm fine, I'm fine, I've got jeans and I've got tops and I've got, maybe I'll take a skirt in case it's really hot. Yeah, I'll take a skirt. There's a nice black silk skirt, there we go. When in doubt, wear black. This is one of my Nina Bing skirts that I love. I talk about her all the time. So even that skirt with the white t-shirt's nice and my sandals, nice. Another thing that I've learned while packing for London, just take Big hoops and mm -hmm. sunglasses and you'll always look pretty cool. That's my advice. I've got a list on my phone that's called Short Trip Packing List and I swear by it. I've got passport, don't need a passport for going to London, passport, flight tickets, vlog camera, laptop, mm, I don't need that, don't need that, hair stuff, so tools too in brackets, wall USB plug, phone cable, headphones, notebook and pen, toothpaste, liquids bag, micro USB cable, small makeup bag, brushes slash lashes, purse and toothbrush. Do you know what I don't have? My toothbrush is charging and my headphones are also charging. That list usually never fails me. Also, it stops me from overpacking. Like see, I used to take a crazy amount of like skincare and stuff with me when realistically at the end of the day, I'm gonna to wanna to wash my face and put my like night cream on or whatever. I've got a bit of skincare, like I've got cleanser, oil, Hyaluronic acid, my Allies of Skin sleeping thing. I've got my Maravis. Oh my god, all my rings are in here. What the hell? I've got my pail. I've got some earrings. I've got perfume. I've got my face gym, Guasa. Uh, it's just like a tool for, for massaging your face. I love doing this in hotels. It makes me feel fancy. That really stops me from overdoing it. And I don't take shampoo and conditioner with me ever because I'd never wash my hair. What's the point? And also if like if it was like a serious like situation, I can just use um the hotel stuff. Uh okay, cool. I've got some of my rings on now. I need to get my rings resized really badly and it's stressing me out, but my hands are actually lovely and puffy today, so they should be fine. Thought I could show you the fit. So these jeans are from Zara and look how cool they are. They have like a flare and a slit. I love them. The only thing is that they're like proper jeans so they go on nice and tight and then by the time you've worn them a few, like a few hours they go quite baggy but like I think they're quite baggy in my form, I don't know. I've got a little bodysuit that is not attached because who can be arsed flying my bodysuit on? No. Um, and tell me this, I thought this was quite cool. I don't want to take a jacket, but I thought a big oversized, 
it's not that oversized on me actually, but a big oversized blazer could be cool, especially with the big hoops, some sunglasses. I might just take it in case because it might get really, might get chilly at night. Not that I'm doing anything, but just in case. Yeah, I thought this is quite cool. Style it up with some shoes. What's that from? Style it up with some shoes. Uh, and I say style it up, I'm just gonna wear trainers. But I thought this was quite cool. I feel like casual mum. I kind of look like a mum, but I like it. But I am going to the airport naked. Well, just with a top on, because it's fucking roasting. I'm down for two nights. I'm staying in Notting Hill. I don't know the hotel that I'm staying at. I've never been before. And yeah, I just got meetings uh, pretty much back to back, really squeezing in as much as possible. I'm not taking this jacket. I'm not taking this, I'm not taking it. Yeah, we're squeezing in as much as possible while I'm down. And yeah, I'm gonna be absolutely goosed when I get home. I'm gonna take this jacket. This is so much cooler. <gasps> Maybe I'll wear this to the airport. Wait, I'm gonna go and look in the mirror. Obsessed. This is the coolest. What I need are a really good pair of trainers that I can wear that are kind of smart because my Reeboks are Reeboks and they're also totally destroyed. I'm delighted with this. Hello! <laughs> oh, look who's got her cone off. Look who's got her cone off. We had the best time. Uh, sunbathing on weekend together. Do you know what's going to make us? Oh my goodness, look, there's two dogs. <laughs> Guys! Oh, I need a glass for my water. Good morning. It's not even that early. Oh my goodness. Um, I thought we could get ready to date together because, oh my god, I'm still waking up to be fair. Like what I've got, a pill box. So, I can stay healthy. I have in here four tablets. <gasps> One's burst. <sighs> in here I have CBD capsule, probiotic and prebiotic, a metabolism tablet that's gonna stop me from craving sugar. And one other thing, moody bird. Moody bird. So I uh, stop being a moody bird. This is my party trick, like, got four of them. I haven't finessed my tablets yet, but I'll get there. Uh, I need to get some skincare on the spouse. Last night I was pure, actually, I need to wet my face. I'm literally going in my glass of water. Um, last night, another reason I couldn't sleep, I'm out and about all day today, which means I'm gonna be wearing a mask on and off all day. I've got a taxi coming to pick me up at nine o'clock for a half hour taxi ride. So basically, I'm gonna have a mask on a lot of today and it's also like 26 degrees outside. So let's not do a full face foundation. What I'm gonna do is enhance some of my features. So this is a nice way to look put together but you're leaving your skin to do its thing. And it just means, uh, basically I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my eyes. A tiny bit of concealer under my eyes and I'm gonna let the rest of my skin be free because I'd rather that than take my mask off and have big patches, which is, it's somewhat inevitable really. Even all these like makeup styles that you can do that are mask proof, most of them are matte and heavy and I just can't be doing that today. So I'm gonna keep it fresh, funky fresh and great better already using Adelios it's so hot outside and sunny but it doesn't really matter you should wear SPF every day oh god it's going right in my nail look at that brilliant brilliant uh okay so meetings today I have five of them it's quite back to back it's quite fun though like I've got a meeting then a coffee then a lunch then a meeting then another meeting, then a dinner. Oh, protected. Protected. 24 hour brow setter, now I'm doing Gimme Brow in the shade five. And this is just gonna give me everything that I need from my natural brows. This is a really good makeup look for like the 
beach if you just wanted something like small. I wouldn't. I would say work as well. See if you're a natural makeup wearer. Works great. I like to wear a wee bit more makeup than this usually, but I can just feel it in my bones that the mask would sabotage me. Let's get some concealer on. This is sad. Whoa. Get lost. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going to shade ginger. I'm just going to do a wee touch there as well. I will actually just cover up some of that redness because even if that fades away, it's no big deal. But man alive, she is struggling today. And the less product you use, the less likely it is to move around, especially if you set it. So my skin's not like perfectly even or anything. I quite like it. So I've got pretty heavy, a heavy going discoloration in my eyes. So let's use our eye wand in sand. My little cancellation hero. Oh yeah. Boom, better. I'm just gonna pat that out. Oh my god, that's better. I wish that I was able to like walk everywhere today because it's so nice outside. It's a shame to go and sit in a car. Cute, that's like just more alive, isn't it? I'm actually going to use Nova Gold today. A wee bit of powder. Charlotte Tilbury, airbrush for this one. I'm going to use a wee bit of camel on the outer corners. So it's like the speedy, speedy makeup. See what a bit of liner and mascara can do. It's phenomenal. I set my eye wands just with a bit of translucent powder and to see how lovely and matte that is. I'm just gluing up the same lashes I wore yesterday. Uh, HL2, see for like a winged liner look. You cannot go wrong with these lashes. Just remember to cut them if you need to. And if you look after them, you get up to 20 uses. Very good, right, freckle. When do you guys think that we won't have to wear masks at all anymore? I wonder if it won't be until like next year. But I, I can't wait. I cannot wait to wear a full face of makeup and not have to think about it. And then I just make sure that they're all secure and then I just run over the band with my eyeliner. I'm going to do a little lip liner. Just on my natural lips. Do. That was a transformation. Tell me. Tell me otherwise. I'm gonna say it on my face. That's premature. Because even though we're not wearing a huge amount of base makeup, we need to set the face. Yep, happy with that. Colours are all in keeping. Perfect, right? Let's go. Let's go. I thought I would show you how good these dogs are doing. Hello. Hello. Do come here. <laughs> This is so sweet, this is what Dropper does when he wants to play. He'll feel the goofy vibes and he'll go and get a toy. Come on then! <laughs> <laughs> Juno had her operation maybe three weeks ago. She's doing really, really good. Her personality has not changed at all. Someone said to me that maybe she, like, she would mellow out a little bit, like on her walks and stuff, but no. Uh, but we don't mind, we don't mind. I know it's been a while since she saw the dogs uh, properly, so I thought I would. Give you a pop date. Look at all this. Oh. And I actually, I was, on, <laughs> I was on TikTok this morning and I saw this guy got an undercoat rake, literally for two German shepherds that he's got. And uh, it was amazing. So I bought that and we may try that because all the brushes aren't good enough for you. Mm. <laughs> Hello. We're in the car. The last thing that you'll have seen was actually from last week. Uh, it's, what day is it? Wednesday? I don't know what's happening these days. Time is absolutely flying away from me. I feel like I've spent the last three days on meetings. And honestly, after our chat in the last vlog, I feel, I feel really happy that you all are just very understanding and I think the same way that I would be just grateful for a bit of honesty. I've also had tons of messages from fellow business owners that found it quite refreshing talking about how difficult it is. But it's just been another, it's been another few hard days. Um, you'll see I have my hair done. 
I'm actually styling it. I didn't I, I ignore it just now. It's not styled properly, and I actually I'm getting a couple more extensions put in. But I'm dead happy to have my hair back. But you know, like back in the day, I would get my hair done. I would sit and do my makeup, and I'd take like a nice picture because I got my hair done. Business owner life. I've not had time. I've not put any makeup on. I've just been on meetings back to back, and I've been waking up super early to like to make sure that you know the other things that i need to do in life are done but i've still not had time to do my makeup uh, which makes me it does make me quite like sad just because it is my favorite thing to do but yes i have my hair done i you can tell by my eyes that i am shattered and i look so pale i, I don't know they like, see after taking last week essentially off for the vlog i took sunday off because we didn't have any vlog to upload or anything like that i stayed in bed until two in the afternoon, I have not done that in like over a year. Oh my god, I've not done that in years. So I stayed in bed until two. Then me and Jack took the dogs out a big walk. Honestly, the best Sunday ever. And I'm going to kind of try and do that a little bit more often because I did actually feel great. One thing that I did, uh, I shopped. I have not done, like, I don't know, a, like a big clothes shop in a really long time. So I did that. I've got bun a bunch of stuff. I have quickly tried it all on just because I was excited and every single thing I'm keeping. So I'm gonna we're gonna do a haul when I get home today. But I'm currently on my way back to kind of where we used to live to get a pedicure. I just really love this little salon that I used to go for pedicures, um, and it's been shut for a really long time with the pandemic and stuff. So uh, I booked in. Uh, because we are allowed to leave Glasgow. Oh my god, I'm literally leaving Glasgow at this right, right now. So I'm getting a pedicure. It's like a nice pedicure. It's like a massage and a scrub on my feet and all that. The salon I'm going to is called Natural You in East Kilbride. And I just really love it. I'm excited to go back. But yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling a bit melted. I should have just decided to take that week off vlogging from the start because this is actually another thing that I, that I would like to talk about. See, unless you decide ahead of time that you're going to take time off and not do something, what ends up happening is you end up sitting thinking about it for a really long time. So, that it, so it's not time off because you are sitting like that, thinking about it, stressing about it, saying I've not got this done yet. And then at the end of the week I was like, oh, I'm just going to leave the vlog this week because I don't want to just film for the sake of it. We didn't manage to get that much like filmed because we've been so busy doing other things. If I just decided that at the start of the week, I would have had a week knowing that I don't need to vlog. But instead, I worried about it the whole week and then the only day I didn't worry about it was Sunday. And I still worried about it because I was getting messages like, where's the vlog? <laughs> so I'm sorry. So my take from that is I guess it's all about scheduling to so see if you're thinking about taking time off just take the time off and decide that you're doing it so you can actually enjoy that time off does that make sense anyway there's a car that's trying to undertake me right now get lost thank you for being so patient thank you for all your lovely messages about me kind of opening up to the the hard parts of, of running a business um Take the exit. And yeah, I'm taking the exit. Hello, good morning. Uh, I'm just watching this live stream on Scotland's national football team on all like their social media channels. I'm out of breath. Jack's just about to be on it, and it's making me nervous. I've got secondhand nerves for him, but I know he's going to do great. I'm really, really, really proud. It's live. He's going to do good. He's going to do really good. Ooh. Oh my god, I thought, I thought that was going to be him. What time is it? What time is it? 12 o'clock. This will be him soon. This is so cool. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to be sick. So this is on their YouTube channel, but I know that it's actually, I think it's streaming on Twitter and Facebook as well. Oh god, this is going to be him. Oh my goodness, I feel quite sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Jack! <laughs> they showed us picture, but they've not. He's not been on yet. He'll be so excited. It's really, it's really, really cool. <laughs> oh, there he is! The 
Mick Harrington. I'm joined by our next guest on the show, it's Jack McCallum, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, big handsome. Look at this. Me and Jack and my mum and dad are all having dinner together and this is pretty special. I didn't cook it. My mum cooked it. And my dad. <laughs> Morning. Uh, you guys wake me up every day. <laughs> excited, excited. Yes, we're going, we're going, we're going. Wow, it's like being on holiday. Wow, oh my god, it's roasting. <gasps> I need to go and pick up some dog poo. <laughs> There's no more humbling experience than picking up two German Shepherds worth of morning shit. <laughs> Will you Do you want... <laughs> Do you want your breakfast? Do you want your breakfast? Uh, I really shouldn't laugh, right? But Drogba is Captain Cool, right? Look how stressed Juno gets about breakfast. Are you okay? Are you alright? She's not nice. Oh, it's alright. Don't are you excited about your breakfast? He is Captain Cool and she's Captain Stressed. Look at this. It's right there. Are you okay? We're getting it right now. Oh, you're beautiful. I've been shopping. I shopped from All Saints, Selfridges, somewhere else, ASOS. That's it? Yeah. And I want to show you what I got because I'm thrilled with it all, I'm keeping it all and I'll put links below and I'm usually not this quick to let you guys know where and what I'm getting as I'm getting it. I, I've got like a lot of old clothes that aren't even like for sale anymore so I've done it. Last time I did that was at the old house ages ago um, and it was really really fun so here we go first thing I got was shoes kind of fancy shoes if I'm honest I will not fancy I just needed something that would look good with a really long suit trouser so I got loads of pointy shoes look at that I nearly bought a pair of designer shoes and then I thought to myself I was like do you know what I'm not gonna do this I'm gonna buy Shoes from ASOS, because they're good ASOS. I actually do like ASOS for their shoes. I've got a couple of ASOS pairs of shoes. And I'm going to save the money from designer shoes and I'm going to treat myself to some like nice clothes. So, these three pairs of shoes. I got one flat pair, super pointy. Kind of sad, but not really. I used to run a mile from pairs of shoes like these because I've got quite big feet. I've got a UK size eight feet. These are actually nine. Yep, these are nine. But I just thought, oh god, look, that looks so dumb. Look, I just thought they look quite cute. Like if I put my foot far away, it looks smaller. <laughs> I thought these were really cute and I thought they would be really nice, even with like jeans or a suit jacket. Suit jacket? Suit trousers, something like that. So they're flat and they've got a little sling back. And then I got two pairs. The same style of shoe, but one's black with like croc print almost, like snake print. And then this one's like a ostr like a ostrich leather, but it's white, you can't really see that. But I just thought they were so nice. And these have got a little heel, tiny heel. Jack asked me, are those kitten heels? I was like, no, they're meals. So these were, how much were these? Do they even say in the bottom? No, it doesn't, it doesn't say in the bottom. I think, I think the three pairs together was like £90. And I just thought, see even those, oh my god, I think they're quite chic. Especially, look, see if I put them both on. What I was trying to think, I was like, if I saw me in the street wearing these, would I think I was fashion clumsy or fashion forward and fearless? And I, I, I chose fearless, look. Look how cute. Yoo-hoo. If you hate them, don't tell me, because I'll cry and I won't wear them. So they've got those three, I'll link them below. Very good. We're on a roll. Next, we have a pair of trainers. 
These are from Pangea. Pangea? Those are Pangea. Pangea. I think it's Pangea. Pangea. The first time that I saw these trainers was in an Instagram advert. Instagram adverts get me. They know what they're doing when it comes to me because I do buy quite a lot of the things that are advertised to me. So these are their trainers that are made from grape leather. So they are sustainable, vegan. Look, they're so cool. They're just like a white trainer, but they've got a leather kind of finish to them, which I thought might be nice for me because it means I can clean them. Uh, this sneaker is made from grape leather and the sole is made from recycled rubber. It is circular in production and design. Really cool. I got these in a size eight, so I'm always an eight in trainers. But these fit quite well, I think. I think these will, yeah, these will definitely need broken in because they've got quite a high back that I can feel. So I'll just wear them with like thick, long socks. But cool, right? I thought they were really great. And I really, I love that brand. I think the brand looks really cool. I really want to get some of their, like, they've got lots of like nice loungewear that I want to try. But I thought I'd get the trainers first because they are a bit of an investment. They're not cheap. Uh, I think they were like a hundred and fifty pounds. But I really wanted the trainers. And I actually quite I'm quite into this at the moment. And um, if you've been here for a while, you'll know that uh, the way that I like to shop is I try and stay away from fast fashion. ASOS, I I don't think I would class ASOS as fast fashion. I don't know. You tell me what you think. But I like see those those three pairs of shoes. I'll wear them all. It, like it's, they're such classics and basics that I'm not worried about it. Fast fashion to me is like an outlandish dress that you buy for eight pounds and you wear it once and then it's in the bin. Or you donate it but actually it ends up in a landfill. That's fast fashion. Designer clothes, I'm partial to. No, I, I, I think that my, I like to invest in things but it doesn't always have to be like Gucci, if that makes sense. Like Pangea, I think is a nice, like All Saints, I think All Saints clothes are great. Some of the things, like their denim and their leather and things like that, I think are fab. Anyway, Pangea, next. This is a kind of like a two piece set from All Saints that I thought was really nice. This skirt, it's called the Jamie skirt, so I had to buy it. This is like a crop top that goes with it. And it's got All Saints written there and then All Saints written there. I just thought it was quite a nice set. And I could wear this anywhere. I could wear this with trainers and I could literally do anything in this outfit. I feel like I could go out in it, maybe. No, I couldn't. I, could, I wouldn't go out in it. But I could go for drinks, I could go for lunch. Love it. I say that like I do those things now and I just don't. Anyway, I thought this was really cute. <laughs> Look at that. I thought this was really cute. This is just like a little, it's all, I don't know why it reminds me of a tennis dress, but I just thought that I needed an LVD that was casual, but I could dress it up if I wanted. Like, I think that this with trainers and a denim jacket for through the day would be great, but I could also wear this with like one of my nice pairs of like, mule, like mules or heels or something and wear it out if I wanted. Uh, and I just thought with the weather getting better, I actually went to look at my wardrobe and I didn't have anything to wear. Like everything was a maxi dress and I was like, I would like something short. Shorter. It's not that short either. I'm five foot ten uh, and this is the size 12. And it's a really nice length. I was worried it was going to be too short, but I freaking love it. And this is my favourite thing that I bought from All Saints. I'm just buttoning it up. Isn't this so cool? This is like a denim dress, but the way that it's done is like a jacket. Where is it? Myself up. It's like a jacket and a skirt, but it is a dress. It's like all one piece, but there's belt loops so I can cinch in the waist. I love that it's got a dropped shoulder. It's got a dropped shoulder, but it's really, really loose and baggy and comfy. It's a really nice shape. I think for me as well, when I wear clothes that are slightly more oversized on top. I think it makes me, I think it just suit, maybe it just suits my shape better. But I always feel more comfortable. It's almost like, I don't know, I just think this is so cool. And yeah, I would wear a belt with it. And I would even actually, did that come out? Yes. Give that sleeve a little roll on. Cool, isn't it? Here up, sunglasses, bag, you feel me? 
but I like it as well because the skirt material is quite thin but the jacket on top is a bit thicker so it's actually it's just really comfortable. I actually want to look at myself in the mirror. Yes. Ooh, love it. These two next things I wouldn't probably wear together but I'm really, is that the right way around? Yeah, I'm really flipping happy with them both at first of all. <laughs> ignore this, ignore the mess. Could we take a minute for the leggings? Oh yes. We've done ASOS and we've done All Saints. This is now Selfridges. So these leggings are PE Nation. Probably one of the coolest sports wear brands I've ever seen. I really, really love their stuff. I just think it's the coolest. I've only ever had one pair of joggy bottoms before, but I saw these leggings and I was like, yep, yeah, I want them. I feel like Jane Fonda. This t-shirt, I love it. I thought Calvin Klein was on the way out. I used to buy Calvin Klein stuff all the time. Remember when it was in Urban Outfitters and it was like the little kind of strappy tops and the t-shirts that just had Calvin Klein on them and everyone wore them and we all thought we were really cool. I thought that that was over but then I saw this top and I was like that is my Stranger Things 80s dream come true. See this with a big baggy blue denim jean. I'm all over it. So I bought it and I was like I don't know if I've made a mistake here but no mistakes have been made. I love it. I love the material. It's almost like a more towel material on the inside. So comfy. I love that it's got a cinched waist. So, you know, give, give the girl some shape. Do you know what I mean? I wear baggy stuff all the time to the point where I actually don't even know what my body looks like. And I, don't, I didn't know what size it was either because everything I bought was two sizes too big. So I'm trying to buy clothes that actually fit me now. Do they love it? I love it. Next. This next one's a bit silly, but not really because I've wanted it for ages. And I saw it and it was in stock because they sell out all the time. And I was like, I've wanted this for so long. This is the most plain t-shirt ever, but I've wanted it for so long. And now I've finally got it. This is Comme de Garçon. It is their classic jersey with their logo. I've just wanted it for so long and I saw it and I was like, do you know what? I'm going to get it. I'm going to buy it. My thought for this as well is, see, just this. Have I got something on it already? My same thought process with the last t-shirt and this t-shirt. I just thought this with a pair of jeans looks so smart. I'm starting to go down to London loads for my meetings and I thought, like autumn time almost, or cooler summer days, this is so nice to wear just with a pair of jeans and I feel put together because it's freaking calm de garçon. It's also super comfy. So I thought this, even with like a denim short, would be quite cute. Someone's gonna make fun of me for calling it a denim short. <laughs> Don't make fun of me, right? I'm trying to get into fashion. Fashion. So look, even that, I love the cut on it. It's a bit longer. It's black. I wear this all the time. I wear it all the time. Best for last, kind of. I love it. So this is a top from Commando. I don't know if you remember, but I had a pair of leggings that I was obsessed with. They were like leather look leggings. Best I've ever had. I got a little hole in them, so I either need to fix them, chuck them out, or buy a new pair. They're up there with one of my favorites, but this top is the same material as those leggings that I was obsessed with. And if you look, it is a super flattering fit. It's got quite a bit of com like compression almost. So see if I stand like this, you can see nicely compressed. But because of the material and the way that it's made, it is completely seamless. I love this to the point uh, that I'm going to go and buy another one right now before I put this video up because I'm nervous it's going to sell out. Because honestly. Best top. This is honestly just the best top I've ever worn. It's so comfortable, but I feel supported. It's got like seams along here. So it's got space for if you've got stuff going on, but at the same time, it's stretchy. So if you don't have stuff going on, it's going to fit like a dream. I'm honestly obsessed. And even like, I think I've got quite wide shoulders, I think. And usually I don't like any kind of strap like this on me, but as soon as I put this on, I was like, oh my God, no, it's great. I can totally get away with this. And I don't feel like, um, I don't know. Big shoulders are lovely. Don't get me wrong. But I don't want to look like a rugby player. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this top. So there you have it. There's my little clothing haul. Feels like we've not done one of those in ages. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I actually did make one more order. It was an impulse order. 
Again, it was an Instagram advert, kind of. Anina Bing posted that the suit she was wearing in a photo was on sale and I really wanted it. I saw it when it came out. It was the Anina Bing Helena Christensen collection and it was a white suit. And I was like, I cannot justify spending that much money on a white suit. But then it went into sale, so I found it very easy to justify. So I bought I, I bought a few things from Anina Bing, which let me know if you want me to show you that when it comes. I'm going to clean this uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, oh my god, my bum hurts from cycling. Oh, well, that's too high up. Oh, it's hot. Maybe I should. Is this my Anina Bing one? No. Where's my. Stop it. This is the only one I've got. It was just really relaxing. I swear I look not as rough. Why is that so blue? So I've got those. I've got a white t-shirt. That's not a white t-shirt. Oh god, is that white? Come here! 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 Come